Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tronage and today we're going to have a little quick tip on how to adjust the VTX transmitter on the HGL RC XJB145. Stay tuned. All right, so the video transmitter on this quad is a little weird, I guess is the word you could put it, to adjust. It's not very intuitive. The instructions are really not that clear. It's a little confusing, and you kind of have to take it a little bit apart to get to it because you can't really see what's going on because the display is hidden by the top plate and also by a Mobius Mini in my case. What we're gonna do, it's gonna be a quick video. I'm gonna pull you in close, take this apart, show you the VTX, show you the different button presses and essentially what they mean so that you'll be able to adjust your video transmitter to your liking. So come on close. We have the HGL RC XJB ready to go. But in order to adjust our video transmitter, we do have to, at least for me personally, need to take off this top plate because I am unable to see the display to know what I'm actually doing. A little side note, You'll notice now, I can print flexible TPU. Little mini announcement there. So my antenna mount on this is now flexible TPU. Anyway, let's get started. So we're just gonna take off the top plate, which involves taking off these four screws. Now, in addition to my zip ties that are holding this Mobius mini mount are also going through this top plate, which means I will have to cut my zip ties and remove my Mobius Mini. All right, so for the first step, I'm just gonna remove the zip ties that are holding my Mobius Mini in. Now that's removed. The next step is I'm gonna to have to remove these four screws so I can get, take this top plate off. Now you'll notice my receiver is kind of blocking the way but you can see the display. And that's the thing we really need to see because if you notice with the top on, you can't read the numbers. And this is not a very intuitive uh, transmitter, so therefore it's really hard to do unless you're actually looking at it. And by moving this out of the way, even though my transmitter is all wired in here, I am able to now see this display. So as you can see now, I've taken my top plate off. I've moved my receiver out of the way so we can see what's going on inside. I also made sure to put my antenna back on here because you don't want to be operating a video transmitter without the antenna attached. Anything that has a transmit to it, if the antenna is not attached, you run the risk of burning out your transmitter. So always make sure your antenna is attached. And yes, this connector for this antenna stinks. You look at it funny and it'll pop off. So you can put some high temperature silicone that's safe for electronics, put a blob of it on here to hold, hold it in place. What I do is when I am have my Mobius on there, one of these zip ties, I actually thread through so that it does this, just so you can see this little quick tip. One of my zip ties that holds the Mobius on runs just like this across that connector. So it actually puts pressure holding that connector down in place. If you don't have a Mobius on, but you want to still do this, you can just take run a zip tie, just make sure you thread it right across the top of that connector, and then zip tie it across the top, and that'll put some pressure on that connector so that it doesn't pop off. Also, another way to relieve that stress is when you have this antenna going through your top plate, you can also put a zip tie here, which is what I do also. You thread it through and you grab it to the side, like this, and you can hold that antenna to the side so there's no stress on that antenna going to that connector. So it's basically like a two ways to protect this from uncoupling. All right, so back to the video transmitter. This is the LCD display that we're gonna be looking at for all our settings. And the button that we're gonna be using to make changes is right here underneath that little LCD display right here on the side. I probably can't see it, but if you own the quad, you'll see it there. 
All right, so in order to make any change, we do need to put a battery pack on. Also, I have my props on. I'm comfortable doing that, but do not try this at home. The moment you're attaching a battery to this quad and you're not planning on flying it and it's a part like this, you should always remove your props because if something happens and these start to spin up, these will basically become flying razor blades in your face. So please don't try this at home. I'm a trained expert. Remove your props when you work on your quad. Now, with that being said, we will attach the battery pack. Now you see this display is cycling through three things and I'll decipher it for you. The A means we're on band A. This one means we're on channel one on band A. And that dash means we're transmitting at 25 milliwatts. So we'll go through each of these step by step. And it's basically by pushing one button, we can change all three aspects of that setting. So let's do the first thing is the channel. So you have the channel, which is one. We have the band, which is A, and we have the power level, which is 25 milliwatt. To change the channel one through eight of whatever band we choose to be on is a simple click of the button, just a single click. So right now I'm on one. I click them on two, I click them on three, I click them on four. So all clicking this button just one time, just a short click, just changes which channel you're gonna be broadcasting on, back to one. Now, if you wanna change what band you're broadcasting on, right now we're on A, if you push and hold it for two seconds, you'll see the A starts to flash. Now we can adjust the band. Now we can go to B, we can go to E, we can go to F, we can go to R, we can go to U, we can go to O, L, and H. Now there's a lot of bands that are on this quad. A lot of them I believe are called the low band ones, which we're supposed to stay away from here in the United States. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay here on band A. So all you have to do is just not push anything and it'll save that setting. The last thing you wanna set is the power level. And the way you set the power level is you push and hold that button and you hold it for five seconds. So first the A is gonna blink, you keep holding, don't let go. Now the dash is blinking, now I'm setting the power level. Two clicks will show me two dashes and that's 100 milliwatt. Click it again, I get three dashes, that's 250 milliwatt. Click it again and you're at zero, be like a pit mode. So depending on whatever milliwatts you wanna transmit at will depend on what you set this to. So I'll set that back to where I had it. So now as a little exercise, right now we're as, as before we started, we're on A1 at 25 milliwatt. Now let's say we wanna transmit on B, band B, and we wanna transmit on channel eight, and we wanna transmit at 250 milliwatt power. This is how you would do it. We wanna be on channel eight, so we'll just click so we get to channel eight. We're now on channel eight. We're gonna click and hold. So the A starts blinking, we'll click it to B. Now we're gonna be transmitting on B. Lastly, we wanted to up our power. Click and hold. Keep holding. And we wanted 250 milliwatts, so now we click it three times. Or so we have three dashes, and we just let it go. Now you'll see it's gonna be B, 250 milliwatt, channel eight. B, 250 milliwatt, channel eight. And that's all there really is to it. It's not intuitive, it just can be confusing. So I hope this helped you out. I hope this cleared up how to set your VTX up. I just wish they would have thought it through a little bit because the moment you put this plate on, you can't see that display. And even if you try to sneak in and try to look at it through like the holes and stuff, you really can't see that display and you really would be trying to set this transmitter blind unless you take it apart so you can see that LCD display. So I hope this helped you out and clarified how you set up your VTX for its power, its band, and its channel. So my name is Tronage, fly strong. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you really should subscribe. I'm always posting new content. If you'd like to help support the channel and get access to giveaways, raffles, and other exclusive benefits, consider joining the Tronage family on the Patreon page. Here's some videos that you might be interested in. This is the latest one that I posted. 
And this one I think you might just like. Go check them out.